In ACMV mode, time activated mandatory breaths are delivered in accordance with the rate setting. For better understanding, let's look at an example. Let's set the rate of breath at 14. and TI at 1.4. In this example, the patient is not attempting a breath, but every 4 seconds, a fixed volume will be delivered regardless. And here, we set a mandatory volume of 500 ml. So in every timed breath, a volume of 500 milliliters will be delivered. Now let's check the IE ratio at end. Press the extended screen. Here on the top right parameters, the user will find the IE ratio. The IE ratio attained here is 1 is to 2. Let's say at the 2 second mark, the patient attempts a breath. What happens then? In ACMV mode, the patient merely attempts to trigger a breath and the ventilator will take over and deliver full set tidal volume. Notice, the delivered volume is same as the other breaths where there was no patient trigger. This is what makes the ACMV preferable for the initial modes. This mode is ideal for muscle rest and recovery because the patient does not have to work so hard to get a full volume breath. They just merely have to initiate or trigger a breath and the ventilator does the rest. ACMV mode in pressure control ventilation is generally used for low compliance and high resistance. Patients can trigger mandatory breaths in addition to or in place of time activated mandatory breaths. If the effort that they generate causes airway pressure to meet P-trig or F-trig setting, each such patient effort results in mandatory breath. The breath can be volume or pressure controlled. PEEP may be added. Tidal volume is determined by the target pressure, TI, patient respiratory mechanics in pressure control and by the tidal volume settings in volume control. As with all Flight 60 ventilator operating modes, backup ventilation is activated if the apnea alarm limit is violated. 